So today we're going to go over a similarity practice. Okay, you're going to use the diagram for question one and two. It says triangle RST is the result of a dilation of triangle NPQ with the center of dilation at the origin and a scale factor of one-third. Which of the following must be true? So you're going to look at these two triangles and find out which one of these angles are congruent to each other. So you have angle N is congruent to angle R, angle N is congruent to angle S, angle P is congruent to angle R, angle P is congruent to angle T. So you want to look at the triangles and figure out which ones are congruent. So you're going to look and find out where N is, and N is going to be congruent with angle R. So the answer is going to be A, because they're in the same position in their corresponding angles. Okay, so the original triangle is NPQ, and the dilated triangle is R S T. All right, for number two, it wants to know which proportion must be correct. So you have to look at the side lengths for each of these triangles to figure out which proportion is correct. So it says that for A, N P in RS equal PQ in RT. You can see that RT and PQ aren't corresponding, they're not in the same position, so that's not going to be correct. So then we check the next one. For B, it says that NP in RS equals PQ in ST. If they're all corresponding and they're set up proportionally, then the answer is going to be B. So since these are corresponding, the answer is B. Okay, use the diagram for questions three and four. Triangle XYZ is the result of a dilation of triangle JKL with the center of dilation at the origin and a scale factor of four. So the bigger triangle is the result of a dilation. So this triangle, the smaller one, JKL, was the original, and there's a scale factor of four. So this bigger triangle is four times larger. So everything about it is similar except for the size. So it says which names a pair of corresponding congruent angles. So you're going to look at each of the angles. So we're going to look at angle L and X. Those don't match. They're not corresponding. So we know our answer is not going to be A. So then we look at B, L, and Y. Those don't match, and those are not corresponding. So it's not going to be B. C says K and X are corresponding. Those don't match. They're not in the same position, so that's not going to be the answer. So you look at K and Y, and those match meaning they're corresponding, they're in the same position. So those are going to be congruent, so the answer is D. Number four says, which is not true of the triangles in the diagram? So A says, XYZ is similar to JKL because a dilated image is similar to the original figure. That's true. Okay, so we want to find something that's not true. So we're going to look at B. It says the ratio JK 
xy is equivalent to the ratio kl yz. Since those are corresponding, that's true. So it is equivalent because the ratios of similar figures are the same. So now we're going to look at C. It says angle J is equal to angle X. That's true because they're corresponding. They're, they equal the same. All right, D says JL, so side JL is equal to side X. Z. So these are not equal. Equal means that they're the same length and one is big and one is small. So it's not asking if they're corresponding, it's saying equal. And similar figures never have equal sides. So that is not true. So that's going to be our answer. The answer is D. All right, number five says use the diagram for questions five and six. Number five says given that triangle ABC is similar to XYZ, which is not true of these triangles. So I'm going to underline not because it's asking me what's not true. So I have to keep that in mind. All right, A says angle Z equals 65 degrees. So I'm going to locate angle Z and find out if this is 65 degrees. It says that these are similar, and since Z and C are in the same position, I know that this is true. So now I'm going to look at B. It says that BC and YZ are corresponding, and BA and XZ are corresponding. That's not true because my red lines they don't match up. So since this is not true, my answer is going to be B. Alright, number six says triangle ABC is similar to XYZ because two pairs of corresponding angles are congruent. Which of the following is not true and does not help to prove this. So angle A says the sum of the measures of triangle ABC is 180. So angle B is 25 degrees. So you have to look and see if that's true. So you can check to make sure that they equal 180 by adding 90 plus 25 plus 65. So they all equal 180, so we know this is true. B says angle B, angle B equals angle Y, which is equal to 25. That's also true. We already know that. C says angle C is equal to angle Y, which is 25. Okay, angle Y is up here, and angle C and angle Y aren't corresponding, and that's not true. So we want to pick the answer C, because that is what is not true. Look at triangle HJK and triangle DEF. Explain how you can prove that triangle HJK is similar to triangle DEF. So you're going to look at these triangles to find out how they're similar. They're similar because the corresponding angles, meaning the angles that match up, like angle K and angle F are both 80, angle H and angle D are both 61, so if both of the two angles are corresponding and they match, then we know that angle J and E are also going to be the same. They're going to be corresponding. 
So triangle HJK is similar to DEF because all corresponding angles are congruent. Seven B says list all pairs of corresponding congruent angles. Then list all ratio of corresponding proportional side lengths for these triangles. So we're first going to list all the corresponding angles. So we have angle H is congruent to angle D and angle K is congruent to angle F and angle J is congruent to angle E. When we write out our angles, we make sure that we put an M in front with the angle symbol so that we can tell that we're talking about angles. So now we're going to look at the side lengths. So side length HJ, we're going to put a line over for side length, is congruent with side length DE. And side length JK is congruent with EF. And then side length HK is congruent to side length DF. Okay, and that's similarity.